and welcome to another episode during Artastic August where I'm giving you five full free art lessons that you can enjoy anytime, anywhere in celebration of the launch of my online streaming art lesson platform called Artastic Kids where you get to make art anytime, anywhere with a range of different art making mediums that are mess free, stress free, easy to clean up and set up and I'll show everybody how to do that at the platform. It is at artastickids.com and you get to stream art lessons again anytime, anywhere for your family or for your classroom so if you're a kid at home you can play anytime, anywhere just like Netflix or Disney Plus, you click a video and hit play on me, or you can rewind, pause, come back later, whenever you want to do it, you make art the way you want to do it. And you get to pick whatever art lesson that you want to make in a variety of categories such as underwater, insects, reptiles, plants, things that go, landscapes, fantasy, and so much more. My friend, it's so cool. So make sure you check out the website at the end of this video, the link will be in the description of the video, www.artastickids.com, link below in the description of this video. But we are celebrating that launch with this beautiful video where we are going to be making zombie carrots, of course, because that's what happens when carrots go to the compost bin. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but they do decay, and really that's what's happening here. But we're calling it a zombie carrot just for the fun of it. So we're going to be creating a zombie carrot using some oil pastel. So just black oil pastel, but don't worry, if you don't have black, just use a dark color. Dark brown, dark purple, dark blue, all good. It'll still give that creepy effect. Love it. Um, also, I've used some felt markers to make my carrot, but you can again use whatever art making medium that you want. And I'm going to show you how to make this super cool zombie carrot that you can impress everybody you see with. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, definitely something you want to put on the fridge, I think. I see it. I see it. Anyway, so grab some art making mediums and join me as we go on this adventure of creating a zombie carrot. And at the end of the video, make sure you check out my online streaming art lesson platform that has a range of different art lessons with five new art lessons being added every single month um, to a huge art resource library that's already built onto the platform. Oh yeah, five new art lessons every single month, so lots to choose from, lots to enjoy, and they're all at a range of different levels, so you can pick a just right level for you. So grab your art making mediums and join me. Let's make the zombie carrot, and let's make some art. Alright, so for our zombie artwork, we're going to need a choice art making medium. So I'm going to draw with felt markers and color with them, but you can choose what you would like to do for your zombie carrot. And we're also going to need a black oil pastel. Ooh, black oil pastel. So I got one hiding in there, but if you don't have black, no worries, you can use blue. You could use brown, you could use green, you could use purple. Find a dark color. Alright, so flip this over now that's dirty i'm also going to need one white piece of paper and one choice color background paper so i'm going to use blue as my choice background but you can pick whatever color you want as the background for your zombie carrot artwork all right here we go so we're going to be drawing a zombie carrot which in my opinion is what happens to carrots once they go to the compost and they start decaying they I guess that's just a composted carrot, but we'll call it a zombie carrot. All right, here we go. We're gonna begin with drawing a nice curvy line, just like that, for the top of the carrot. And then we're gonna draw our carrot body, but it's a zombie, so it can't be perfect. It's starting to decay or rot. It also has some parts eaten out by bugs. So bugs have been eating our zombie carrot, so we're gonna draw some bite marks here and there and just some weird carrot shapes. Make it nice and loose and weird. Add lots of different texture, just like that. Oh yeah. Okay, now we're gonna add the leaves. Now, it has gone to the compost. They're kinda wilted. We gotta add some wilted carrot leaves. So I'm gonna draw some carrot leaf stems first. But again, I wanna make them some bent shapes because, again, they're wilted. And then I can add the rest of the carrot tops with my zigzag lines, just like that. Again, we do not want this to be perfect. It is a zombie after all. All right, so we got a weird carrot top going on. And 
then I'm just gonna take my marker and we're just gonna go around the outside of carrots just to tidy up those lines, and make them bold and beautiful before we continue adding in our details. Let's add our details. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the mouth first. So we're gonna draw a curving line where you want your face to go. And then we're gonna curve it on underneath on each of the corners of the mouth. Bring it up, just like that. Then we're gonna add a curve in the inside for our tongue. And then we're gonna color the dark of the mouth leaving just that curve at the bottom white for our carrot's tongue. Next, we're gonna draw our eyes. They're gonna be circles, but these are gonna be different. Because they're zombie eyes, they're gonna stay white in the center. So we're gonna draw a circle on either side. And then instead of drawing a pupil, we're gonna thicken up that border. We're gonna draw a second line around it and just thicken it up to make a nice zombie carrot eyeball. Creepy. All right, next we're gonna add some holes in our carrot where some worms are initiating the decomposition process. We'll draw some youth shapes around our carrot. And now we're just gonna take our drawing medium and we're gonna have some little wormies coming out of them. And then to make it look like a hole, we're gonna close it off and color it in black. So I'm just drawing a line towards the worm and then coloring in the rest black to make some worm holes on our carrots. Creepy. All right, next we can add some wobbly zombie carrot texture. Some nice carrot texture there. And then maybe we'll add some mold with some zigzag lines here and there along the outside, just to add some further texture. And just like that, your zombie carrot is ready to color. So you can go ahead and color in your zombie color carrot with your choice of art making mediums and colors.
once you're done coloring your carrot, you can grab your scissors and cut out your carrot and you can choose to cut along your black line or you can choose to leave my scissors are stuck, there we go. Or you can choose to leave a bit of white like I am if you wanna add a little bit of contrast to your artwork just to help bring a bit more attention to the carrot and make it a strong focal point in the artwork. I got my zombie carrot. So next I'm gonna grab my background paper and again, I chose blue to be my background. And I'm gonna grab that black oil pastel. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna start in the center and we're gonna press firmly in a circle. And then as I work my way outward, I'm gonna get lighter and lighter. Just like that. Lighter and lighter. Okay, then I'm gonna take my thumb and I'm gonna work on blending it in a circle and it's gonna make a real spooky looking background. I love the texture that oil pastel can create, both when you press firmly, when you press lightly, you get that really rough looking texture and then if you go around and blend it, Look at that beautiful texture. Isn't that gorgeous? Spooky. Okay, then we're gonna finally grab our carrot and you can see how bright that is. So there's a lot of contrast in here and contrast helps bring focal points to there. And contrast is created through opposites. So I have very bright versus dark and this white and black is a great way to add that contrast. It's kind of why I like to keep that little paper border. Now I'm gonna grab my liquid glue because sometimes I find that the glue stick doesn't really stick to oil pastel as it resists the medium. Come on. Okay, slowly, slowly, not at all. There we go. And I'm just gonna glue along the inside leaving about a finger space from the edge. That way it won't leak out. Okay, now because you have liquid glue, we're just gonna grab it by the edges, hold it, Flip it ever so carefully. Move it around until you find a spot you like. And then you can lower it just like that. Two flat hands to press and hold. Lift, press and hold. And just like that, your lovely zombie carrot is done. Well, my friend, I hope you enjoyed making this art lesson with me. Remember, the Artastic Kids membership is open. It's grand opening has happened, so make sure you check it out. Again, it's my online streaming art lesson platform where I'm gonna provide you with a huge art resource library of art lessons to choose from with five new art lessons being added every single month so that way you can expand your creative thinking. You can expand your critical thinking skills. You can develop new art making techniques and skills and then become a, a growing artist at home, okay? So you can stream art lessons anytime, anywhere, from the comfort of your home. You can do it with your family to spend more quality time with them. Or if you want, if you're a teacher, you can stream art lessons directly in your classroom with Artastic Kids. It is um, an online streaming service, again, you can click a video, hit play, and you can stream art lessons. Again, new five new art lessons are added every single month to the platform. Uh, so it's an ever-growing art resource lesson library, um, fully loaded with a ton of art lessons, and five new ones are added every single month. And for more information, make sure you check out the link below the video right now, Artastic Kids. Now let's check out more information on Artastic Kids. Artastic Kids, where kids get to create some fabulous 
art projects all from the comfort of their home or any place at any time using just a few common art making mediums. So my platform is easy to use. You simply log on, grab an art project, click it, and boom, I'm gonna walk you through the entire thing in a fun, engaging way. So let's check out some of the art projects that we're going to do on our Tastic Kids. Thank you. 